What's up y'all? It's Timmy and today we're gonna attempt to paddle Bailey Creek here in Colorado solo and uh, that's all I gotta say. Let's do it. So we're here at the put-in for Bailey Creek, which is a pretty iconic Colorado run, a good staple creek and run. It's 300 CFS right now, so it's not necessarily low, not necessarily high. So what I'm gonna do is drop my kayak off and try to one wheel all the way back up. The only catch is it's a 13 mile shuttle. The one wheel last time lasted me about 12 miles, so we'll see. It's a gamble, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna gear up and uh, get on the one wheel, start going upstream. Wrist guards all geared up, here we go. Yeah, thank you guys. Oh, Try to get back upstream. So we get about 13 miles to go. Hopefully the one will make it there. I got 10% battery left. This might be the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Five miles to go. I need some downhill. Well, I'm down to 2% battery, just enough to get to the gas station. So I'm gonna have to leave the one wheel and walk the last three and a half, four miles. You know what's funny is I almost made it to the two mile long downhill, which the one wheel regenerates its battery when you're going downhill. I lost it right there at the gas station bottom of this hill. Man, I'll tell you one thing, don't try to hitchhike in Colorado because you ain't getting a ride. <laughs> hey guys, Hi. I'm just trying to go to the bottom of the hill to go whitewater kayaking. Ah. Is that a cool? All right, thank you guys. Oh man. It's tough to get a hitchhike around here. <laughs> I got a little battery powered scooter thing and only made it like to the gas station back uh -oh. here. So. Uh -oh. <laughs> Almost got me there. <laughs> where are you from? Alaska. Just kind of passed oh, it through wow. right now. Where in Alaska? That's awesome. Just going to ride the last couple miles from these guys. Hopefully the boat's here. Sweet. Here we are. So we're taking the pack raft today. So let's get it inflated and uh, get rolling. Here we go, pack rafts all inflated. Uh, I talked to a local Matt that I paddled with last year, and he said there's some wood in some of the rapids, so I'm gonna have to really just scout everything, stop a whole bunch, but let's do it. Off we go. Oh man. Uh, no barbed wire, nothing weird. All right, let's go. You. <laughs> Low bridge. If the water's high, you can get under that. Oh. When you're paddling by yourself, like solo paddling, you obviously like, you can't mess up. You gotta stay on it and uh, be twice as observant as you normally are, twice as conservative. So keeping my eyes out. I believe we have arrived at the whitewater, like where the canyon actually starts. I don't know the line, so I'm gonna have to kind of pick my way down everything. Whew. Well, there's kind of a nasty drop up there where that cliff is. It goes into undercut wall, so I walked around that. I could totally do it. That's a pretty sticky hole right there. And I'm by myself, so. And it's so easy to walk it. There's a railroad track right here. I'm gonna put in right down here and continue on. Looks like we got ourselves a rapid here. So usually if you can't see where to go, a lot of times you can keep eddy hopping and boat scouting, but uh, sometimes you just really can't see. It's like a tight squeeze, but looks like you can fit right in between the rocks down here. Let me get a little view here. I see a line. Ready? Let's do it. A bit of a hole here it looks like uh, let's see where to go i'm gonna go to the right here right of this high rock right there 
out there. Matt told me there's some wood in here, so I'm trying to be careful and keep my eyes open. I can't see over there. I'm just gonna go through this lock because I can see this. Catch the SETI here. I think I gotta go out here. boat scout the most I can I think it's okay just looking for an eddy one of my biggest things like if I'm gonna do a rapid I want to see an eddy somewhere to stop I do see one down there in that corner in that pocket so I'm gonna try this one it's like a pretty big hole too Something, something coming up. Uh, I can't quite see. Looks super log choked. I don't know what this is. I better scout. Something looks weird. Something looks weird. Man, good thing I caught that eddy and scouted. <laughs> I think this is uh kind of the big, uh, the meat of the run. The big boy. Doesn't look all that great right now. Nope. That looks horrible. I guess I could have came around that corner and maybe caught that eddy probably not probably get shoved into this chute over here yeah, it just doesn't look that good look at that undercut boulder down there once again easy portage definitely portage river left oh it keeps going this one looks good anyhow we're gonna put it down here continue the show oh good there's eddie at the lip lucky me barely one but there is one gonna surf over to it Yep, we're good. Here. Maybe I can get around it. Eh, let's walk that one. I don't like it. Yeah, I guess I could have gone around the right. I couldn't tell though. That looks sketchy. Ain't worth it. All right, turn around and boof. I'm not positive, but I think Deer Creek Falls is coming up soon. I just don't know when. So far, so good. We just passed Deer Creek Rapid back there, and uh, we're getting on the bottom stretch of the run, I believe. A little cabin up there in the woods. Ooh, so pretty out. This is awesome. You never get lighting like behind you when you're paddling. I feel like it's always in your face. So cool to see everything lit up. This is all like granite, but it's super pink. Woo. A little something. Uh, I think it's a boot with a hole. Whoa. Whoa. Woo. 
<laughs> I don't know what that was. I thought I was done. I thought I was on the, the chill float out. Freaking pocket hole back there. That sucked swimming that thing. Uh, kind of looks like a rapid. There's a big tree down there. I'm gonna go left down this flume here. Right down here. Whoa. I think we can get around this tree. Looks like we kind of can. Yeah. Yes. Sweet. And yeah, the rapids totally aren't done yet. It's like a sticky hole, maybe. I think it's a double ledge. And there's the first signs of civilization again. Definitely on the super mellow class one float out now. Back to the truck. That was such an awesome run. I definitely want to do that before I leave Colorado again. Here we are. I've arrived. Hey. Success. We're back. I don't even know how long that took. It didn't take too long though. Pack raft held up great though. I think we're gonna head to Red Rocks right now. Go check out the scene. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want. See you next time. Peace y'all. Ha <laughs> ha